Hello, this is the Kieran Donnelly, and uh, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to improve your video quality or footage uh, in the editing process. Seeing as I've looked for this type of tutorial so many times on YouTube and I've never found anything, so maybe I'll be the first one to do this. Um, we'll be going over noise reduction, sharpening, and a bit of colour correction. Um, products you will need is uh, Magic Bullet Denoiser, Adobe After Effects and Magic Bullet Looks. So first thing you want to do is obviously go into After Effects and drag your footage into a new composition and I just have a short little video here of a, a ladder because I was playing around with my tripod. Uh, just going to skip to the beginning of where I want my footage to start. And the quality is alright, but there are things you can do to make it better. So if I get closer to where you can see the ladder here, um, then you just want to go over to your effects and presets and type in sharpen and drag the sharpen effect over to your footage. And you just want to zoom in to your footage really so you can see a lot more detail. Uh, I'm going to zoom into the ladder here because it's pretty close to the camera and you just want to play around with the sharpness and bring it up. It doesn't matter about uh, making too much noise. You just want to bring it up so it's a lot clearer. So I've set mine to about 30 here and as you can see it's caused a lot of noise but it is sharper. Um, and then what you want to do to get rid of the noise is go over to your effects and presets again and type in denoiser. Or you can go up to effects and uh, effects and which one is it? Magic bullet denoiser denoiser. Um, so you want to drag that onto your footage and okay, sorry about that. My After Effects decided to crash on me. Um, so where were we? Okay, yeah. So you want to drag your denoiser into onto your footage, and you just—I usually change my motion estimation to from low to high. Um, you just want to play around with your enhancement and your noise reduction. I mean, I preferably like to take take my noise reduction up to like 150. You can never do it too much. Um, and then my enhancement up to about 30% so it's still a bit of noise but compared to the before and after you can see quite a lot of difference um, I could probably bring the noise reduction up to about 180 and my enhancement up to 35% maybe uh, yep. so as you can see it's made quite a difference um, So, you zoom out now, um, don't turn the effects on and off, you won't really, there is a difference, but whether how much like difference you see or not is another story, um, but if you're making a film, you're going to try and want to get rid of as much noise, um, get rid of as much noise as you can, just kind of improve the quality a bit. It's worth playing around with. Um, and another thing that I like to do, you don't have to do this at all, but um, can improve your image quality sometimes. Um, if you make a new adjustment layer, so Control Alt Way, uh, Control Alt, can't say it. <laughs> Just go to the layer, new adjustment layer, and then come over to your effects and presets and type in looks. Drag that onto your adjustment layer and click edit. Now, I wouldn't recommend using the presets that come with um, looks. It's, you know, it's better to make your own ones. Uh, if you're making a movie and I don't know, say it's um, an action film and someone's invading a building with a gun and you're shooting all these guys, then you're going to want a darker look. Um, you don't want something warm and vibrant. 
you want something fairly cold looking. And these are a few custom ones I made for a film I'm making called Lucid Samurai, um, which will be on YouTube one day. As you see, I just kind of made it blue and dark, really. Uh, so, I'll give you a little tutorial on how to uh, make a color correction with this now. So, if okay, so if you go over to your tools and you see subject, mat, lens, camera, and post, these are all um, subject would go to subject and mat would go to mat. So, first thing I like to do is go to my camera um, and choose. Usually, I like to put my exposure down. Um, if it's, you can see there's quite a lot of exposure in this shot. Um, I mean, really, if you were filming a film, you'd play around with your exposure and make sure it's not too high. But I'd like to bring that down a little bit, not a lot, just by about one. Um, you can see that, you know, kind of takes out a lot of the white. And then, I know, bring down your curves and just kind of bring your brightness up and your contrast down um, so it kind of enhances the quality a bit and then I'd like to bring the blue up for this type of shot well for my type of example anyway um, don't want to play around with these. And usually I bring the green down a little bit. So it enhances the blue and just a bit of the red. But yeah, as you can see, that does quite a lot. Um, then what I'd recommend doing is where is it? I'm not sure if you can do it with looks. Um, okay, yeah. Finish with that, and then I like to add a tint to my footage. So type in tint and drag that onto your footage, and type in, give it about, I don't know, 30%. And it just kind of takes out a lot of the bright colors as, like, these parts for example, um, maybe set to about 50. But you still keep a lot of colour and you don't have any bright colours. Um, so, as you can see, once you put in your looks, it's going to look a lot better anyway. Um, then, obviously, there's the adding your letterbox effect. So, I have, um, I will put a download link in the description. Um, so just find them. Film Dog Pro's HD letterbox template. There yeah, good. Um, you can choose what, so I'm sure I filmed at 1080p resolution so I'd come into 1080p and you get all these different um, size letterboxes. I like to use a 2.35 and so click that, click open and it imports it as a PNG and just drag that over my footage and I have a letterbox. Um, it's probably a bit too big for this footage but I mean this this footage isn't for a film I was just playing around. If I was filming a movie then everything would be filmed to fit a letterbox perfectly. Um, so yeah that's my tutorial on how to improve your image quality quite a bit. Um, I mean if you have any tips on how you could improve it even more then post a video response or a comment and uh, yeah I hope this has helped you out